When I was a kid and really diving into the car business for the first time, one of the cars I really, really loved selling were Ferraris. I had a lot of success selling Ferraris, and I think the reason for that is, is that my old boss used to tell me, the way to sell Ferraris isn't to sell the specs of the car, but to sell it as art in motion. That's what Ferrari embodied for many years, and even still today it embodies that same philosophy. It's just art in motion, and if you look at a Ferrari that way, you'll go a long way to being successful selling Ferraris. Well, this is a car that I feel very similarly about. It's the 2014 Audi S5. It is simply stunning. It's a visually arresting vehicle that looks absolutely gorgeous from every angle. It's even more beautiful inside than it is on the outside. And yes, I understand what everybody says. Well, it's just a, a dolled up A4, or it only has 333 horsepower, and lots of cars have more horsepower than that, especially its main competitor, the BMW M3. Heck, even an Infiniti G Series has that kind of power, and it's been around since 2008. But the thing about the Audi S5 is it's just so beautiful. It's just a terrific looking car and it doesn't matter if you're a 50 or a 60 year old doctor or some big shot attorney or just some 20 year old kid with a dream. This is a car that just to be seen in or near or around or to be a part of, it doesn't matter who you are, you feel absolutely fantastic around this car. It's that good looking. It doesn't matter what the price point is. It's one of the most beautiful cars, period. But in this category, it just simply blows everything else away, especially in the interior. Now, as we said, it's 333 horsepower. It's been 333 horsepower since they went to the six-cylinder engine. They have an RS version of this car, which is an eight-cylinder engine. And yes, it's faster, but it's far more expensive. This car starts off with a $53,000 MSRP, which but by today's standards of an exotic car, a near exotic car at least, isn't really all that much money. And then when you look at what they go for used, the spread between what it costs new and what it goes for used is actually fairly modest, to be honest with you. It's not an overall expensive car to own despite the over $50,000 price point. Now, this particular color, Phantom Black, which uh, we've never had one in Phantom Black before, I just love it. I mean, any black is great, but this Phantom Black is even nicer. It's just it's a sharper looking variation of an already nice paint scheme. Now, this has the Black Optics package, uh, package as well. So it's a $1,300 package, and it's kind of a must-have package, really, for this kind of price point. Instead of 18-inch wheels, it has these nice turbine-style 19-inch wheels, and then it's got a two-tone kind of finish, and then it really showcases those big, big S5 brakes and rotors. And then if you take a look at the front, all this is glossy blacked out, and it just looks terrific. You could do nothing with this car, and it already looks great, but when you do all these niceties, from the nice chunky wheels to the clean-looking front end, it really does look fantastic. Let's come take a look around the side. The S5 profile, again, very muscular, but beautiful and sophisticated. It's uh, a very aggressive car, but uh, not in any way unsightly. And certainly, uh, when we jump into the interior, this is as good as it gets, folks. But in this price point, or pretty much any other price point in the entire car business, this customer has decided to spend the $1,100 and get the Napa leather, and that's a feature you really want to have. I mean, you've come so far, you've got such a beautiful car, why not go all in and get some of the nicest leather that's available in the car business? And then that nice uh, carbon interior trim, it just, honestly, it looks really, really good. And yeah, maybe it doesn't serve any really real purpose, but to waste 500 bucks, but the uh, it's 500 bucks if you can afford it, it really does stand out. Let's come take a look in the back. Now, this has Audi's MMI, so that means it has uh, navigation. When you get navigation, you get the rear view camera as well. If we open up the trunk, we'll find out that the trunk is actually really spacious. A lot of times when you get those kind of semi-exotic cars, the first thing that you sacrifice is uh, trunk space or general usability. But a lot of people in this demographic like to golf, and I'm here to tell you, you can fit all the golf clubs you want in this car, especially because the rear seats fold down. And so with the folded down rear seats, you have acres of space in here for golf or anything else that uh, you're enjoying doing. Taking a look at the passenger side, it just looks aggressive from every angle and visually very, very stunning. In fact, if I could come up with a word, especially for this uh, color scheme, it's sinister. This car is uh, devilish good looks. Let's take a look inside. Now, inside, you truly feel like you're coddled in luxury. It feels like you just went out and spent a bunch of money on a, on a new wardrobe, a leather wardrobe at that. Everything sculpted nicely, feels nice. Maybe a heavier driver is going to have some challenges being pinched in with these side bolsters, but for anybody south of about 220 pounds, you're going to be in great shape. And then you've got headroom galore. I'm six feet tall, and I have all the headroom that I could possibly want. 
in this car also, one feature that you truly do want is to get the top of the line stereo. For a lot of people, this is kind of their uh, executive decompression chamber. After a long day of work, I mean, you just want to chill the heck out and uh, crank up what you like to crank up. It doesn't matter if it's heavy metal or jazz. You want to listen to what you want to listen to and you want it to sound nice. And so for $850 to be able to get the Bong & Olufsen stereo system seems like uh, money pretty well spent. I mean, you can't buy anything in the modern world for $850 electronic. So that's a feature you definitely want to check check the box on. 333 horsepower, quattro all-wheel drive. When you get the quattro all-wheel drive, it's a sportier variation of the quattro in the uh, S5. But you're going to drive it as your daily driver or your fun weekend car. And let me tell you, whether it is your, your fun weekend car or your daily driver, it's civilized, it's easy to drive, it's certainly very easy on the eyes. Doesn't matter what uh, pay plan that you're on, what income tax bracket you're in, it doesn't matter if you're a millionaire or just a kid with a dream. This is one of the most visually beautiful cars you'll ever own. And you could spend tons more money than this. Of course you can. There's cars that are a million dollars in today's world. They're just not that much nicer than this car. For 55 to 60 grand, whether modestly equipped or really, really well equipped, I think this is truly one of the best deals in the car business and certainly worth a long look. Even if you're looking at a car for like 30 grand or something, you're like, man, I can't afford $60,000. Take a look honestly and take a look at your $30,000 Ford that's worth $15,000 a few years from now versus this $60,000 car that's worth $45,000 a few years from now. And what car really cost more? And what car really made you feel dynamite about all the hours that you put in, all the work that you do? This is the kind of car that says, you know what, my dreams came true and I finally arrived. Take a chance. It's definitely worth a look. If you have any questions about this car or any car, please don't hesitate to give me a call anytime. My name is Joe Tunney. I'm the sales manager at Infinity of Kirkland. You can reach me at 425-821-1600 or just drop me an email at joet at infinityofkirkland.com.